they've opened up the gates again Can't control it so I'm rushing in Here comes a mermaid and a little girl Some open drawers for Got some medals hanging on my chest I've seen some good ones but I miss the best Lady look don't you turn on me I'm just a student of your history I'm just a student of your history Slow book I'm gonna run And do what you do So but we got some things to find When I was faster I was always behind When I was faster I was always behind there pluckers I've saw things again with you with hopefully another interesting uh, lesson for you a classic song from Neil Young of course and a song called Slowpoke okay standard tuning no capos doing exactly the same key as Neil Young performs the song in okay so um, quite a straightforward song not too difficult uh, it's a, um, some different chord in it which you've probably not come across before but it's very simple to play so uh, basically it starts off on a uh, little riff, which is all the way quite plays it basically all the way through the song, and all that is an open A string hammers up to the second fret, and then the open fourth string, the D string. Okay, and then you hit the G chord, just a single strum like, like mind you, there were pause there. And then basically it's just downstrokes. Da 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 da. Okay, so you've got. Okay, and then we got this chord. This is an E7 sus4. Okay. So what we've got here is a second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and my third finger is playing the second fret of the third string, the G string, and that's it, and you can play all six strings, lovely chord that, okay, and then it goes to an E minor, okay, so the whole thing, which is the main thing all the way through the song really, is this, okay, 
just those three chords, okay? Once again, open fifth to second, hammer, open fourth, G, again, E7 sus four, E minor. Okay? And you just play that twice, and that's the intro, and you just keep playing that for the verse, okay? So slowly, intro and the first verse, okay? That's it, that's the first verse, and then you play two more, just like the intro, without any singing, okay? Another verse, exactly the same. I've got some medals hanging on my chest I've seen some good ones, but I miss the best Lady Luck don't you turn on me I'm just a student of your history I'm just a student of your history Every time you go through that riff you play that little riff open, open fifth to second on the fifth and then the open fourth string all the way through the song in between the chords, okay? Then we come to the chorus, right? So all the verses play like what we've just done. So it's two verses, an intro, two verses we've done. Then we go into the chorus. So when you come out of that, um, uh, where it goes, uh, I'm just a student of your history. I'm just a student of your history. Riff. Now we go into the chorus, stays on G. Slow book, I'm gonna run with you. Right, and this is the same sort of thing but slightly different chord. First bit's exactly the same, so it goes. Slow book, I'm gonna. It's the same sort of thing. Book, I'm gonna. This time we play that E7 sus uh, to 4. And instead of going to E minor, we go to C major 7. And the way I'm playing that is basically uh, second finger, second fret of the. Well, it's like a, it's like it's a form of C, but with, uh, with the, you can play a C, a standard C with your finger off, first finger off, like that. That's fine. Five down to one. But what I like to do is do that. Put the bottom E on the third fret with the third finger. Pinky takes over on the third fret of the fifth string. And then second finger on the second on the fourth there. Then you can play all six strings. But if you want to play a simple version, C chord, first finger off, five down to one, or the C major seventh with a G in the bass, like that. Okay, whichever ones you like the best. Okay, or you find it easier to play. Okay, so it comes out of that. Um, so that's basically um, just a student of I'm just a student of your history Right, chorus Sorry So look, I'm gonna run with you Okay, and the riff this time is that So you play the open fourth to the second So it's all a string down So play the same riff but a string further down And then the open third so open, open fourth to second, and then the open third. Okay, so. Slow book, I'm gonna run with you. Okay. Again, same thing. Where all you comes and do what you do. Again, again. Slow book, we've got some things to do. Now we go back to the original version. 
The original one again, like in the verse, okay, the G to the E census for and then the E minor, and then the same riff, open fifth, second to open fourth, yeah, just like you do in the verse and the intro, okay. So the whole chorus, so slow. So there's two on the end there that are the same as the original with the E minor rather than the C major 7th, okay? So that's the choruses. All the choruses play like that, okay? Then we go into a, a bit of a harmonica uh, instrumental. So it comes out of that uh, uh, chorus and it goes into the instrumental, which is... Uh, Instrumental C. Now you can play simple C or C with G in the bass. So that's simple C, or you could put uh, C with G in the bass. C. That's five down to one. I like to play all six strings, so I'd like to put this third finger up to the bottom E string, third fret. Pinky taking over on the third fret on the uh, fifth string there. It's like it's the same as the C major seventh, but this time you've added that first finger on this second string first fret. That's C with G in the bass, okay? But your simple C is okay, okay? So C, uh, so, or oh, so, um, so it's, it's instrumental is C to G, C, G, C, B minor, A minor, D. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So G, uh, C rather. To G. Back to C. G. C. B minor. A minor. D. And we're into another verse again. So I want to push back the curtain again. It's exactly the same to play as the other verses, okay? So now the only thing I can show else I can show you is in the in that instrumental uh, C G C G It does that sort of thing. Uh, so on the second G, so C to G, C to G, it does that sort of thing. And all I'm doing there, on, this, on, the, G, on the second G, you play that sort of, that sort of thing. So you, you play the G, and then you make it a sus4 by putting your first finger on that. First fret of the second string there. Then off. So I'm playing the top strings, top three and four strings really. Then put your lower this second finger down to the second fret of the third string. And play the top four strings again. And then the open, the normal G again. So it's Strum the top four strings of the G, then add that first finger, first fret, then off, put the second finger down to the second fret, third string, take that off and play the G again. Okay, then back to the C, B minor. B minor can be a bar chord, 
Or you can play a simple B minor like that. Whichever suits you best, okay? A minor, D. Alright, so we'll just come through from the end of the chorus where it goes. Uh, Instrumental C G C G with a fancy bit C B minor A minor D and into another verse Someone's pushing back the curtain again Stage is darker and the crowd is in. The song is gentle and the song is long. Something's missing, but someone is found. Something's missing, but something is found. It's mental again. Finally, to finish the song, another chorus. Right? Slow And that's how he finishes it on E minor. Okay, so there you have it, boys and girls. My uh, take on a uh, Neil Young's Slowpoke. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.